What is up YouTube, XX Solutions here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to optimize your Windows 10 for gaming. Now, I apologize if I sound a little bit raspy, it's just because I'm getting over a cold. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So if you're like me and you enjoy playing PC games and you just want a extra bump in performance, even if you have a low end, mid end or high end PC, you still want more frame rate. Everyone loves more FPS. So the first thing we're going to want to do is open settings so you can shortcut by pressing Windows key and I head over to gaming and then you should see Xbox game bar now disable this if you are not using this obviously if you're using Xbox game bar then don't disable this but I am not using this and I'm not using an Xbox controller or anything to do with Xbox game bar so I'm going to turn it off once you've done that go ahead and go over to game mode on the left hand side and we're going to actually turn this on now Windows has a feature called game mode and it's actually beneficial for FPS in games it's been tested and people have benchmarked with this on and off now some people have preferred it to be on I prefer it to be on as I've seen a bump in performance. You can actually go over to graphic settings in the top right and also turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. I've turned this off because I noticed some micro stutters. You can actually turn this on if you wish. However, if you do have micro stuttering or any, you know, kind of performance drops, then just disable this. For me, it works best with this disabled and then game mode just enable. Now, the other thing I can't stress enough is if you have a Nvidia GPU, make sure you download Nvidia GeForce Experience and you have the latest drivers updated so as you can see i've got an nvidia card mine's just a 1080 ti as an older card click on drivers and make sure you check for updates if you haven't got updates already automatically downloading for you make sure you are on the latest drivers if there are new games coming out or if there are bugs in games or if their drivers have issues in the past they will fix these problems if you're with amd same rule applies download amd radeon software make sure your drivers are up to date now, as I mentioned earlier, Windows updates can cause a lot of issues. So what we're actually going to do is pause Windows updates so we can actually scan for updates when we want to. So press Windows key and type in updates and you'll see check for updates. I'm going to click that. Now, as you can see, my updates have been paused. Now, obviously, this won't be applied for you if you haven't already done this. So as you can see down here, you just want to spam this button until it's grayed out and you see the box that says resume updates. You might have to click this a couple of times. So make sure you just spam this button and you'll see resume updates when you want to resume them obviously if your windows 10 build isn't up to date make sure you do scan for the updates and update to the latest build as this can cause stability issues the next thing i'm going to show you is disk cleanup now if i go to my drives here you can see that i have three and a network drive my main c drive is a mvme m.2 solid state drive and then i have two ssds that are storage and games now your main c drive obviously will have windows on it you do not want this to be full so make sure that you free up as much space as you can and use other drives for storage so what we're going to do is press the windows key and type in disk cleanup i'm going to click on this and then we're going to choose the c drive which we have windows installed on now you'll see a bunch of random crap here just select everything and then hit ok also what we can do is click clean up system files hit ok again and this will actually have the background uh, updates that windows have basically cached on your drive log files downloaded program files and just junk and i do this every day and as you can see i've already got 1.26 gigabytes already cached in the background we do not need this so make sure you select everything here and hit ok you can also do the same for the other drives if you want to but the c drive is the main drive to clear all of the junk as windows is stored on it the other thing i want to include here is a free piece of software which also has a paid piece of software if you would like to is c cleaner c cleaner i've been using for years this tool is absolutely amazing for everything it actually now has driver uh, updates so you can actually scan for drivers and that will pick up the updates as well if you have the professional version of this i use this for registry editing and cleaning you can also go over to startup and disable things running on your startup to improve boot time and basically just disable things that you don't need to start up on your computer so highly highly recommend downloading c cleaner disabling all the stuff that you do not need on startup go over to registry and just scan your registry pretty much do this every couple of hours click review hit no and fix all of this now keep doing this until everything disappears hit no fix issue and you should be good again if you do want to free up some space on your c drive go ahead and uninstall things that you do not need on your c drive and 
maybe move them to a different drive or if you just don't use those programs or games anymore just uninstall them they're taking up a lot of room on your drive this will free up a lot of space and basically make your drive a lot faster therefore gaining performance on your windows the next thing we're going to look at is background apps in windows so press start and type in background apps hit enter and you'll see this now obviously i have all of these disabled make sure you have all of these disabled i can't stress this enough you do not need films and tv get help groove music camera calculator alarms clock etc etc in the background while you are doing what you're doing it's just unnecessary so make sure you untick this box to run in the background and if they are individually set you can also uh, do that as well you can also go in the app permissions if you don't want to allow say microphone and voice activation notifications camera maps and stuff like this you can also disable all this stuff as well i've already done that so if you'd like to go through all of these settings as well app diagnostics you don't really need automatic file downloads documents basically just stuff that's trying to use it in the background you can go ahead and turn all that off that will also bump in performance as well next we're going to look at power options so press start type in power you'll see power and sleep settings hit that go in the top right and hit additional power settings and as you can see i have high performance mode enabled so obviously you want the best performance at all times you don't really need this to be on power saving mode unless you have a laptop and you're obviously conserving battery however i'm on a desktop pc i don't need sleep and all that stuff so i'm going to select the high performance mode so go change plan settings change advanced power settings and if you can basically just change this to high performance or ultimate performance and disable everything that you don't really need there is a mode that's called ultimate performance for windows 10 as well i'll leave a link in the description so you can follow that as well but I believe from memory, you can just select the high performance mode for gaming and this will help a bunch. I also like to turn off display never and put the computer to sleep never because I just find that unnecessary for a desktop. The next thing we're going to do is delete temporary files that are stored in the background. So press Windows key and R, type in percent, temp and then percent, hit enter. You should see this, which is actually stored in the app data, local and then temp. I'm gonna highlight all of this by pressing control A and just deleting all of this. Now there might be stuff in here that you can't delete, that's just because it's open in the background using programs such as Razor Synapse and stuff like that. This will delete 80% of the stuff in this folder. Make sure you do this, this is just random junk that you do not need. Now the last tweak that I'd advise doing if you want a little bit more performance out of your graphics card is simply overclocking it. Now there's loads of videos out there on how to overclock, it's very simple, it's very safe to do. If you're very scared of doing this, don't be. The drivers will just crash or your blue screen and you can reboot and it will be back to normal this is very very easy to do and i highly recommend looking at overclocking your graphics card depending on what that is whether it's amd or nvidia just look at doing it you'll get a little bit more performance games the card might run a little hotter therefore you can up the fan speeds maybe get better cooling and stuff like that it all comes down to hardware if you want the ultimate performance now i have an older graphics card and i actually do have a memory clock set here for plus 500 megahertz on the memory clock this gives me a big increase in performance it's very stable and i've tested this for hours um, i haven't touched the core clock i've just upped the voltage the power limit the temp limit and stuff like that and that will give you a big bump in fps you can do this for your cpu as well watching this video and doing the steps that i've showed you will give you a slight bump in performance now, if there's stuff that helps optimize your windows or helps in gaming now, if there's stuff that helps you in windows or basically helps in performance please comment below i'm curious to see what your tips and tricks are as well i hope i've helped you in a way comment rate subscribe and all that good stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one Peace.